Hi guys, one of the questions I get asked more often nowadays is how did I make my hiking pads? Well, that and where can I buy the plants? <laughs> That's what the store and both plants, by the way. I have no affiliation, get no money whatsoever, but I leave the link on the description below. Now, I think the best way to show you how these are made is to actually make a couple of them. Let's do it. First thing I'm gonna need is this PVC pipe, which is 125 mil diameter, about 3.8 mil thick. Strange measurement, but um, there's nothing special about it, just normal drainage pipe. I'm actually going to make this slightly longer than the ones I had. So this time, the, one, the other ones were 43 centimeters. I'm going for 55 on these ones. I'm gonna cut this outside because I'm halfway through varnishing the goat and I don't want any dust in here. Oh, well, more dust, should I say. Now I'm gonna cut this in half lengthwise. The pipe is 49 and a half in diameter. So I need half of that to mark the other side. Now, I have this closed cell phone, self adhesive. I don't know where I got this from, sorry, but you can just get some, some kind of um, closed cell phone and then either self adhesive or just spray some adhesive and then glue it. But this one is all right. I've had this for years and years here in the workshop. Right, we want an inch, more or less, more than the pipe. Right, these rubber blocks were cut from this piece and because I don't want to wreck that anymore because I need it for the trailer, uh, I'm going to use these ones instead.
toughest move at all. But of course, if you cut sizes, there's always the risk of floating away. So I'm gonna put the strings here as I had on the other ones so I can tie around these spacers just in case. And to do that, I'm gonna use this string. I need a very fine drill bit as well. A drill mill, drill mill, <laughs> a three mill drill bit. Wow, three mill drill bit. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. Perfect. My leg is nice and comfy here. So did my bum. Um, on the smaller ones, my leg was usually here on the edge. Uh, also, and the main reason why I want to make them longer is when I want to put some more weight towards the bow, I can now come and do it. Uh, obviously, this is not the best position because of the leg. Uh, it's not comfortable, but it, I find it helps a lot some, uh, to put some more weight and sink that bow in some occasions. Oh, that is very nice. I can just chill. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. Uh, I could put some cover on it or just glue some cordura or some nylon or whatever over it, but uh, I never felt the need for that on the other ones. Uh, they don't slip, they don't get hot. They did split open at the bottom one of them um, but that's over 50 outings last season and I just then stitched them together with some string made a few holes and some white string just stitched them back together uh, and that's that hole well held pretty well so yeah I'm happy with this what do you think guys stay safe I'll see you next week